Uh, sir, you have been in so many incredible films. Everything seems to be coming back these days. What would you choose to bring back from one of your old films, Matrix? What would you choose? Uh, to bring back. Do they pay you for that? Oh, that's right. That, the, that in question. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You don't remember, huh? It was like, it was, you know, I was 15 years old, so. Keanu Reeves has been a Hollywood icon for over three decades and is deeply beloved by millions of fans worldwide. With a string of blockbuster films under his belt, he is also one of the wealthiest actors in Hollywood, his movies grossing over $3 billion at the box office. However, behind his fame and success lies a background of loneliness and personal sorrow, partly fueled by people who wanted to force him out of Hollywood. If you're a fan of the enigmatic actor as well, you might ask, how can anyone be mad at Kinu? This question was recently raised when Matthew Perry attacked Reeves in his new memoir. It seemed like the entire internet community came to Reeves' defense by criticizing Perry's unjustified attack, which forced the Friends star to apologize. However, Matthew Perry wasn't the only one who felt that way about Reeves. In a 2019 interview with GQ, Reeves opened up about the time he was sent to movie jail. According to the actor, Fox Studios decided to put Reeves' name on a blacklist after he refused to appear in a potential sequel to the 1994 thriller Speed. During the negotiations about the sequel, Sandra Bullock agreed to reprise her role, but Reeves wasn't interested in revisiting the project. Ultimately, Reeves was replaced by Jason Patrick, while Willem Dafoe played the role of the antagonist. Looking back, Reeves made the right choice since Speed 2 won the worst sequel award at the Razzies. In the conversation with GQ, Reeves revealed, I didn't work with Fox again until the day the earth stood still. The actor was blacklisted from Fox projects for a decade, but he made a comeback with the 2008 sci-fi film, The Day the Earth Stood Still. The film starred Reeves as an extraterrestrial messenger who comes to earth in human form to convince humans to mend their ways before apocalyptic measures come into action. Loosely based on the eponymous 1951 film, Scott Derrickson's remake served as an interesting commentary on current environmental concerns. When asked about the subtextual elements of the sci-fi film, Reeves answered, I think environmental issues are on everyone's mind. It's part of our culture now, and I can only applaud and laud anyone who is doing what they can and raising awareness. Just like Cat Williams revealed during his now viral interview with Shannon Sharp, some Hollywood gatekeepers blacklist those who have a mind of their own, and Reeves happens to be one of them. He refuses to be influenced or intimidated. During his interview with Wired, the actor made quite a reveal. From the looks of it, Keanu will never surrender to the machines. In fact, the actor put a clause in his contract that ensures he won't have to deal with edits such as deep fakes. Keanu is okay with the use of CGI from time to time, but claims Hollywood has gone too far with certain edits. That, ladies and gentlemen, didn't go down well with some top people in Hollywood. Yeah, digitally, I don't mind if someone takes a blink out during an edit, Reeves said. But early on in the early 2000s, or it might have been the 90s, I had a performance change. They added a tear to my face and I was just like, huh? It was like, I don't even have to be here, he continued, revealing he wants no part in the direction Hollywood seems to be headed towards. What's frustrating about that is you lose your agency, Reeves continued in regards to the deep fakes. When you give a performance in a film, you know you're going to be edited, but you're participating in that. If you go into deep fake land, it has none of your points of view. That's scary. It's going to be interesting to see how humans deal with these technologies. They're having such cultural, sociological impacts, and the species is being studied. There's so much data on behaviors now. Credit to Keanu for taking a stand and moving in the direction he feels is best for the industry and its future, but his stand has really landed him in trouble, which he is happy to take in. The celebrated actor made another reveal during his interview with Wired, and this time he showed concern for the direction of the industry. In Keanu's view, if things continue in this direction, edits will take over films, especially with technology advancing at a rapid pace. People are growing up with these tools. We're listening to music already that's made by AI in the style of Nirvana. There's NFT digital art, Reeves said. It's cool, like, look what the cute machines can make. But there's a corporatocracy behind it that's looking to control those things, culturally and socially. We're going to be confronted by the value of real or the non-value. And then what's going to be pushed on us? What's going to be presented to us, he questioned. Keanu went on to call it a system of control and manipulation. It's the sensorium. It's a spectacle. And it's a system of control and manipulation. 
Reeves continued. We're on our knees looking at cave walls and seeing the projections, and we're not having the chance to look behind us. Kinu is clearly against the use of deep fakes. However, the actor has used CGI in his films, particularly John Wick. Chapter 4. Yes, John Wick. Chapter 4 did get a little help from CGI. Visual effects supervisor Janelle Croshaw Ralla explained the digital reality that Kinu was in during the film. According to Cinema Blend, there was one part that had to be digitally altered. Ralla revealed, Kinu actually did that, of course. Light VFX took all the Jordan footage and created a full CG environment to put that into, and it just worked beautifully. That's the beautiful thing about a John Wick film. You're always starting with something real. It's very, very rare that you're not. Visual effects supervisor Jonathan Rothbart revealed that minor adjustments were made. We were really there, and it just gives you those huge vistas. However, sand is kind of a nightmare because you can only brush so much sand away, and you've got horses riding through and everything else, so traditionally you end up replacing a lot of that sand digitally just to hide all of the tracks and the machinery. A minor adjustment and one we assume Kinu was okay with. Otherwise, he is okay with being blackballed. Coincidentally, everything Cat Williams revealed about Hollywood has been confirmed by Reeves. In a recent interview on Shannon Sharp's YouTube show, the ever-hilarious Cat took the stage, sparking laughter and controversy simultaneously. Known for his wit and audacious humor, Williams dived into a two-hour discourse, blaming fellow comedians and actors for hindering his success. While the interview provided entertainment, it also left viewers reflecting on the dangerous allure of blaming others for our own shortcomings. However, the difference between Cat and Reeves is that Reeves is more reserved and private. Despite being a bona fide member of Tinseltown's A-list for more than three decades, his movies grossing more than $3 billion over the years, Reeves is a master at keeping his cards close to his chest. He's not exactly in hiding. He gives interviews to promote his latest box office blockbusters, isn't totally absent from talk shows and he doesn't blank his red carpet obligations. In fact, he's always entirely present during his media junkets. Kind, attentive, and respectful. But somehow, he manages to dodge any opportunity to let the public in. Every now and then, however, he puts an ace on the table, and we peel back another layer of his complex nature. Seemingly out of nowhere, and at 59 years of age, Reeves has been embraced by the masses in a way we've not seen over the course of his career. In 2019, a petition gained momentum for Reeves to be named Times Person of the Year, with the actor described as the Internet's boyfriend and the most wholesome person alive, something he was gobsmacked to be told. That's wacky, he told People TV. The positivity is great. It's really special how John Wick was embraced and worked on Always Be My Maybe. Great, you know? A response that showed he was uncomfortable with the attention, but humbled all the same. The proof of his down-to-earth nature is a viral photograph taken in 2010 that showed the actor sitting alone on a New York bench eating a sandwich. This is a guy who's said to be worth $360 million at the time. The photo in which Reeves saw the humor sparked an internet meme dubbed Sad Kinu. While it was all a big joke in the world of cyberspace, there are actually some tragic reasons behind why Reeves is a recluse, having never married or had kids. In 1999, the actor's girlfriend, Jennifer Syme, gave birth to their daughter, Ava, who was stillborn. The pair met a year prior at a party and fell instantly in love. But the stillbirth took a toll on their relationship, and the couple decided to split several weeks later. This was around the time The Matrix was released, which, as we know, went on to become a colossal critical and commercial success and is available to stream on several platforms. Two years after their breakup, Syme was leaving a party at Marilyn Manson's house in Los Angeles when she sideswiped three parked cars, rolled her vehicle, and was thrown from the car, which K her. Reports claim she was being treated for depression at the time, with police finding two prescription drugs in her car. Reeves was scheduled to begin shooting back-to-back -back Matrix sequels, but was forced to take time off after hearing the soul-crushing news. Around the same time, his sister Kim was diagnosed with cancer. He hasn't been publicly linked to a woman since Syme's death, nor has he directly spoken about the tragedy. Fans of John Wick films will see a parallel between his assassin character and his real-life experience, with John Wick also mourning lost love. With any character, the way I think about it is, you have the role on the page, you have the vision of the director, and you have your life experience, Reeves told The Guardian, adding he brought his own experience with hardship to the role. Oh yeah, I thought it was one of the foundations of the role for John Wick. I love his grief.
he said. For the character and in life, it's about the love of the person you're grieving for. And any time you can keep company with that fire, it is warm. I absolutely relate to that. And I don't think you ever work through it. Grief and loss, those are things that don't ever go away. They stay with you. It wasn't the only time Reeves lost a loved one. In 1993, fellow actor River Phoenix, Reeves' best friend, died of a drug overdose at the age of 23 outside a nightclub in L.A. The pair met and bonded on the set of I Love You to Death and hatched up a special friendship as they were both the same age and navigating early life in a lucrative and high-profile world. Phoenix died while Reeves was filming Speed with Sandra Bullock, who spoke of the incident a year later. I think that he has gone through a lot even though he doesn't let on about it, Bullock told Tele Seven Jaws in 1994. I think he hides a great pain. Apparently, Reeves also suffered immense pain in his childhood. He was born in Lebanon to Patricia Taylor and Samuel Reeves and attended four high schools before dropping out when he was 17. When Reeves was only three years old, his father walked out on the family, forcing his single mother to move the family around and raise them in different countries, Hawaii, New York, Canada, and even a short stint in Australia. The last time Reeves saw his father was at the age of 13. In an extremely rare interview, the actor stated in 2002, on our last day, we sat on the veranda and stared at the dark sky. He hardly said anything that evening. The next day, he brought us to the airport. Then we didn't hear anything from him for 10 years. No calls, no letters, nothing. Despite significant tragedy, Reeves hasn't gone down the dark path we see many famous celebrities wander down. His hardships have made him kinder, and not in a showy way, in the most low-key way. We find out about his generosity from random workers on his movie sets and Reddit threads. He gave the entire stunt team on The Matrix Harley Davidson so they could all enjoy riding what he calls the demon ride, as much as he did. Reddit user Bo2DD2 said Reeves bought him and several other workers breakfast and lunch every day during the filming of Chain Reaction. Every day for the last few weeks of filming, Kinu treated the stagehands and grunt workers, including myself, by taking us out for free breakfast and lunch. He was genuinely a very nice guy to work with, the post read. Since then, I've worked on about 30 different sets and have never met an actor as generous and friendly as him. Most actors I've seen and worked with are total douches who always think they are better than us. Keanu, on the other hand, at the very least, was socially approachable and definitely kind-hearted. The user concluded, That was one example that involved me directly, but on the same set, I remember him going out of his way to give my friend a ride to the repair shop to pick up his car. One of the most famous stories about Reeves broke in 1997 when he was photographed sitting on the side of the road with a homeless man. The word was, Reeves approached him, sat with him, shared drinks and snacks, and listened to his life story. In several of his movies, he has sacrificed millions of dollars from his own salaries to save at-risk jobs, with some reports claiming he has given up as much as $125 million so people could stay employed. The actor reportedly waited in pouring rain in a nightclub line at his own rap party for Daughter of God because he didn't want to drop his name at the door. I didn't know who he was. He kept waiting, and he didn't say anything to me. He's a very relaxed person, the unidentified club owner told the Daily Mail at the time. These are just a handful of his candid moments. In 2019, Reeves told an entire crowd they were breathtaking. Back in 2011, he was filmed offering his seat to a fellow passenger on a New York subway. Efficient and elegant with his words, Reeves has occasionally put this ability to use by publishing poetry. In 2011 and again in 2016, he collaborated on coffee table books with the artist Alexandra Grant, lines of his mournful verse appearing alongside Grant's eerie drawings and photographs. A Hollywood star who takes a risk like this and commits his name to poetry must expect a degree of fascination and even skepticism from the public. Adding to the intrigue of these books, it has since emerged Reeves is in a romantic relationship with Grant. He talks about his writing without shyness, but also without bravado, making it all seem a natural expression of some challenging things he has been through in his life. And when it comes to his work, probably the most significant movie from this part of his career was 2014's John Wick. An unapologetic fight movie, it was made in collaboration with two of Reeves's former stunt colleagues from The Matrix, Chad Stahelski and David Leitch. They had a basic concept that proved effective. What if the fights they staged in their film were all limited by what Reeves himself could physically perform? The resulting action sequences had a visceral, haggard, can't-look-away quality, probably born of a 50-something man absolutely exhausting himself for our viewing pleasure. 
John Wick won over an unexpectedly big audience. Reeves says, I remember thinking, I wonder if the Wachowskis have seen it. I wonder if they liked it. I never reached out to ask. Indeed, the public liked what they saw, and John Wick has since spawned several sequels, with more to come in 2025 and beyond. His fans adore him for several reasons. In June 2019, fans on Twitter noticed that Reeves doesn't touch or hold women while posing with them for photos. Instead, he hovers his hands behind them so as not to invade their personal space. The actor's endearing habit quickly went viral, with fans celebrating the star for his choice. People called Reeves a respectful king and praised him for being considerate and respectful. Also, not long after the E3 convention, the John Wick actor made it a point in July 2019 to autograph a handmade sign that was left for him referencing the moment. The actor was in the middle of filming the third Bill and Ted movie when he reportedly spotted the sign which read, you're breathtaking, a call out to Reeves' appearance at the E3 convention earlier that year. Bill and Ted screenwriter Ed Solomon took to Twitter to share details about the incident, saying Reeves jumped out of the car on his way to the set so that he could autograph the handmade sign. He wrote, you're breathtaking under the original message, along with his autograph and what looked to be an inscription to the fan. That same year, a story about Reeves and a young fan went viral when it was shared in May 2019. SBNation.com writer and producer James Dater took to Twitter to share the experience he had with Reeves while working at a movie theater as a teenager. The writer tried to get Reeves' autograph but wasn't successful. However, things began to look up for the young Kinu Reeves fan. Two minutes later, there's a knock on the door behind me that leads into the box office, Dater tweeted. I assume it's my manager. It's Kinu. I realized you probably wanted my autograph, Dater remembers the star telling him. So I signed this. Now just very quick, if it's your first time here on my channel, I would appreciate if you would like the video so that you can help me to continue spreading Christian messages. Subscribe and also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of the next videos that are uploaded every day. All right, let's keep rolling. He hands me a receipt from the concession stand that he signed on the back. He then casually throws an ice cream in the trash can and sees his movie. And as if that isn't humble enough, in March 2019, a Los Angeles-bound plane that Reeves was on was forced to make an emergency landing. But that didn't stop the actor from kindly posing for photos with his fellow passengers. The actor even went above and beyond, helping to organize transport to San Francisco, their destination. He regaled passengers with facts about California along the way and even played country music from his phone. And he's not just good to ordinary people, he is good to his fellow celebrities as well. While on the set of Speed, actress Sandra Bullock said she told Reeves that she had never tried champagne or truffles. Not long after, Reeves arrived at her place with flowers, champagne, and truffles. The actor told Esquire in 2021. She told Esquire, he said, I just thought you might want to try champagne and truffles to see what it's like. She said this type of listening was common for Reeves. When I first met him, I would spend as much time as I could filling a silence, just to feel comfortable. And the more I jibber-jabbered on, the quieter he would get. She continued, and I thought, I don't understand what's happening. He's looking at me with eyes of confusion. He's quiet. Did I say something to offend him? And then a day or two later, he would arrive with a note or a little package saying, I thought about what you said. And he would have his response. Reeves also secretly donates millions of dollars to children's hospitals across the world. The star reportedly runs a private charitable foundation that aims to help sick kids, but his name isn't attached to the organization. I have a private foundation that's been running for five or six years, and it helps aid a couple of children's hospitals and cancer research, Reeves told the Ladies Home Journal in 2009. I don't like to attach my name to it. I just let the foundation do what it does. So one thing is clear, even though Reeves is a world-famous actor, he doesn't appear to take himself too seriously. Whether it's voicing a character in Toy Story 4 Inches or playing an exaggerated version of himself in the 2019 Netflix rom-com, Always be my maybe. The actor isn't afraid to have fun. He also seems modest for an actor of his stature. When asked in June 2019 how he felt about his status as an internet boyfriend, Reeves was nonplussed. During an appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert in May 2019, Reeves was asked by Colbert what he thinks happens when we die. I know that the ones who love us will miss us, Reeves answered honestly, wowing Colbert and subsequently fans alike. 
The same year, film critic Hannah Enos Flint shared on Twitter in August 2019 that during an interview with Reeves, the actor mentioned how he was so impressed by his John Wick Three Inches co-stars, martial artists Cicep Arif Rahman and Yaya Ruhian, that he didn't want them to be killed off. He was knocked down so much by them in rehearsals and pulled up off the floor, she tweeted. They included that moment in the film, and Kinu refused to let them be killed by John. Seems like our man is good even to his fellow characters. In fact, Reeves has no problem taking pay cuts if it means talented actors can join the production. The actor's contract for the Matrix sequels, The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions included a significant pay cut for the actor so that more money would be available for costumes and special effects in the films. After he was cast in the 1997 The Devil's Advocate, Reeves found out that Al Pacino wasn't able to work on the project due to the film's budget. He, however, was so eager to work with the legendary actor that he took another sizable pay cut. And as earlier mentioned, one of Reeves' more famous moments of generosity came during the filming of The Matrix, when he gifted a dozen stuntmen with Harley Davidson motorcycles to thank them. I just wanted to give a bigger thank you to all these guys who helped me make this, Reeves said at the time, not getting tired of being one of the few good men left in Hollywood, according to a January 2022 report in The Hollywood Reporter, Reeves paid for a private jet, hotel rooms, and premiere tickets for his group of friends, and even organized a special post-premiere brunch for them. The lucky group reportedly included the actor's personal trainers and professional representatives, Chad Stahelski, who was Reeves' stunt double in the original Matrix trilogy and went on to direct the star in the John Wick films, confirmed the trip to The Hollywood Reporter. He flew a bunch of us up here, Stahelski revealed. He's incredibly generous. In the audience tonight will be so many people that helped him, from his martial arts trainers to jujitsu trainers to hair and makeup to his stunt crew. He makes sure that his friends and family are here. He's epic. And when the Hollywood reporter asked Reeves himself about the kind gesture, the Bill and Ted star said in response, yeah, it's great to be able to share our experiences and lives together. So one thing is clear, despite experiencing a plethora of devastating events throughout his short life, Keanu has refused to allow his personal trauma to harden him, from giving away millions to charity without taking any credit, to demanding his own salary be cut to provide better pay to non-actors in his films, the actor puts his best foot forward to ease the potential suffering of others, and that pisses off some Hollywood elites. He pays every cent of his fortune forward and is as altruistic as they come. Despite being faced with traumas that would make any sane person turn cynical, Reeves has remained open-hearted and selfless, and he continues to unapologetically encourage the success and well-being of those around him. From coping with an absent father to losing his best friend, his only child, and his first love, he continues to amaze fans with his resilience and optimism. Although much of Kinu's life story is riddled with tragedy, the star has always managed to keep moving forward with a persistence admired by everyone who knows the weight of his tribulations. His kind heart and strong spirit have made him one of the most lovable, highly admired actors in Hollywood, a title he is sure to hold throughout the rest of his career. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.